Shall we start off and talk about how we met? Most vivid memory was at the St. Martin's show, mm. which I think is when we first yeah, met. Yeah. But that was it. Mm. It was a, a brief encounter. And then I remember you coming at the London Shows in Paris. Yes. Mm. I remember that's when you told me, oh, it's like the marriage of Jack Jackie O and Jeff Koons. I was yeah. like, hmm, interesting, interesting car. And then I was like, I was very, uh, I guess, intrigued to mm. meet you and see exactly. I was like, wow, well, a critique. Didn't want to punch me I love Paris. a critic. The first collection we worked together on was Autumn Winter 2011, which was kind objects of, of art. objects of art and kind of pulling out references to Diana Breland and yes. Babe Paley yes. and CZ Guest and then um, kind of the idea of translating those kind of mid-century objects of art and yeah. using these mid-century couture silhouettes. I think it's, it's, it's a, a lot of people have defined my work and say it's about objects but you can mm. say about any inanimate thing that it's an object yeah but it's not really that I think it's looking at design mm. it's looking at applied design and filtering that into fashion even with objects of art, you know, mm. when we're looking at, at mice and porcelain or coromandel screens or, you know, whatever it is, even with the stamps and the banknotes, yes, okay, it's an object, but it, it's more about the cultural references and mm. the cultural heritage and um, how you bring all that together um, through colour, shape, form, pattern. Mm. It is kind of working together when you you have an idea for the print, but then the print ends up becoming this organic thing that moves around the silhouette yeah. to define the body in different yeah. ways. Because I don't work in small motif, scale is a big part of what I do, and because you scale it to a woman's proportions and a woman's body, it becomes as definitive as a silhouette. I think the interesting thing off the back of that with Autumn Winter is that it felt much more perhaps abstract yeah. than it has in the past. Yes. And it's it's less immediately evident, although it's there, how the prints have been manipulated to emphasise different parts of the body. When you're not creating a pattern and you're using the landscape as part of photography and you're wrapping it around the body so that the winding river becomes the fold of the dress or the winding road becomes the fold and um, how you manipulate uh, that shape. For me it was about going maybe Besides print, exploring mm. different proportions, 80% um, of the entire collection wasn't print based, yeah. even though you wouldn't recognize that from, from an image. Mm. But it, it allows, I think, um, me as a designer to play with different things, like I said, with jacquards, with embossing leather, with uh, needle punch embroidery, you know, working with walls and, and, and certain things that you can't do. Mm. Um, kind of creating with, an image with different ways other than print. Yeah. It was kind of. I mean, I can't remember the exact words, but I think I said it was about pattern and not print. Yeah. And in a weird way, yeah. it actually became about pattern in terms of the pattern of the dresses. Yeah. Which I don't think we realised when it was being, when we were making it, how different it was going to be and how different it was going to be interpreted. 